What's up everyone, it's your boy Norn Rad 89 here, bringing you another Rad Movie Review today, continuing the Chucky series as we are on to Child's Play 3. This is a very fun one. I've always had a fondness for this one, even as a kid when I saw this one. This was always one that I loved returning to. There's so much to talk about, so today you're going to hear my positives, the negatives, the rating, and then I'm going to send you all home. So let's do this. Roll it. So Child's Play 3 came out in 1991 and with this one continues the story of Chucky hunting down Andy but this one's a little different because Chucky Char Charles Lee Ray acquires a new body at the beginning of this movie and ends up finding out that he actually can choose a new host to go into because it's a different toy body. So he ends up choosing a young cadet that's at this military school that Andy's at. Andy is much older now. They went with an older one. Even though this film takes pl or it came out nine months after Child's Play 2, they uh, pushed the timeline forward, you know what I mean? So they didn't bring back the same actor to play Andy in this film. So let's get right into the positives right away is that one key positive is I think for being a film that came out nine months after Child's Play 2 and this film was heavily rushed like they rushed the crap out of this movie they ran out of funding at some points for this film they had Peter Jackson who was possibly going to be directing this film and they went through like a whole host of directors and a lot of post-production problems and pre-production problems and stuff like that with this film and still, this movie is pretty spectacular, I think. And it's one of those films that it's a quick hour and a half. It gets right down to business and it knows what it's doing and then it delivers on it. One thing is I think our new actor, Justin Whalen, who plays Andy Barclay, the older version of him, I think he does a fantastic job. He really does play the character well as a new progression of someone who, Andy now, who knows the knowledge of Charles Lee Ray, knows about Chucky, and is more of a guardian, more of a protector in this film. And I like that, you know what I mean? As the three films in these first three movies, you can see Andy's character growth in each of the movies. And that's what I like, you know what I mean? It feels very much, even though it's a different actor it feels very much like it's the same Andy that we witnessed in the first two films. Brad Dorif is at an all-time high in this one as Chucky. I think Chucky in terms of the dialogue that was written for him and the one-liners completely epic. Some of the best in this one for real come from Child's Play 3 like don't fuck with the Chuck that's one of the classics or presto you dead like those those are two of my favorites and there's so many others for real so for me i think in terms of one-liners delivery just brad dorf kind of getting to do whatever he wants and go off the wall i think yeah child's play three is really where it's at in terms of chucky performances and even the doll the puppetry work he looks freaking badass and even more sinister especially like the scenes when the military kids are like about to do the paintball shooting guns and then you find out that Chucky's replaced the paintball guns with some real bullets for the red team and then oh man what ensues like just his sinister face and like he's holding the grenade like oh it's just epic there's so many great Chucky moments in this movie that's another fantastic thing about this film is I love the new setting. I like that this one has the military camp setting. It's completely different. We have a whole host of new characters around Andy that I think are all great. Whitehurst is one of my favorites because he's somebody who ends up finding out that Chucky's real and then can't really like, you know, he's like struggling to even believe it and doesn't want to say anything and has a serious, serious heroic moment towards the end of this film when we get to the third act. Whitehurst just, ah, oh, total heroic moment when he saves the crew and jumps on top of a grenade. Like that was just oh, spectacular. And I think this one's great and it's like, it's only an hour and a half. I could actually see this film maybe being a little bit longer, but I think the hour and a half actually does work for it. Like me being someone who really likes this film, I want more of it. But the hour and a half does work perfectly. This film is packaged perfectly. It gives you everything you want. And like I said, it does, it knows exactly what it's trying to do. And once you get to that third act and we're at the, was it the, the fairgrounds area and they're climbing on the, the rides and stuff and Chucky gets his face sliced off by the like the scythe from the freaking thing oh man it's just fantastic there are so many good practical effects and that third act is almost just as great as the third act from the second film and speaking of the third act probably the way the Chucky's demise in this film is probably my favorite of version of it for real like when you see Chucky that's one of my all-time favorite kills almost in any horror movie is just seeing him fall and you hear Brad 
and like Chucky just going like this and then boom right into the fan and then just like the fan eviscerates him like for real definitely top-notch death for Chucky so that's always one thing is when you get to that third act you're waiting for the moment where they're gonna do Chucky in and it has to be an epic moment some of my favorite Chucky kills are in this film too as well like for real even one that Chucky doesn't even get to do where he scares a guy to death just by literally showing up in the room and like coming around the corner and like screaming and stuff like that epic moment for real there's a lot to love about this film and I hate that Child's Play 3 kind of gets a, kind of a bad rap like a lot of people either they don't like this one it's not one they return to they're not fond of it and like for me yeah Child's Play 3 is where it's at for it was for a long time as I was growing up this is the one that I would re-watch the most because of how entertained I was with the movie now let's get into some mixed and negatives because there's not really like there's not really too many I have like a lot of fun with this one one negative for me to be honest is Tyler I actually think Tyler's not that great a character like I, do, I don't it's maybe just the actor it might just be the young kid actor and sometimes young kid actors they really gotta fall they gotta find their niche or they haven't become a good actor yet and they really gotta grow into it and I just think yeah the young actor they got to play Tyler I wasn't really jiving with him that much so that's one thing I do like I could say you would improve on and another thing is story-wise just because it's you know you're thinking Charles Lee Ray and he's like I can choose anybody to switch bodies with and I don't know why he would pick that young child you know what I mean like it's always his first instinct is to pick a young child so I don't know why if that's a thing that's just something I don't know that Don Mancini wanted it to be I guess but yeah and certain thing is like this one right here is one of the ones where you can kind of see they're kind of getting a little loosey-goosey with the rules you know what I mean like it, it starts happening more and more as each of the films happen after this one Ride a Chucky, then Seed, then Colt, and then Cur or Curse, and then Colt. Like they all kind of play with the rules a little bit more and a little bit more, and it gets a little crazy. And though, even though all these films take place in one timeline, and even the TV show is in the same kind of you know universe as these films, it does start to go off the rails a little bit. But this is the first movie where you could kind of see yeah, Don Mancini is getting a little loosey goosey with the rules. But overall, in my book, I have a freaking absolute blast with Child's Play 3. Child's Play 3, like I said, is one that I returned to many times as a child. And in terms of a rating, in my book, Child's Play 3 is going to get an 8.5 out of 10. Very solid, respectable rating. And like I said, going to be very high up in the Chucky ranking once we get down to that video and rank all the films against each other. But as I said, these are just my thoughts, my opinions on Child's Play 3. That means I would love to hear from all of you down in the comments section. Just hit me up down below so we can discuss this film but also like the video that definitely helps out and subscribe to the channel especially if you're new and have that notification bell poked so you're notified anytime I post a video but most importantly I want you all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out.